So in this example, we're going to factorise the determinant of 3x, 3y, 3z, 2x, 2yz, 5x, take away 3y, 2z. OK, so remember, what you're trying to do is trying to get some zeros, uh, preferably in a top row or left hand column. But we can obviously uh, swap rows and columns around as we need to, OK, as we saw in the rules by adding in a negative. So what we're going to do first, um, I'm going to, because I've just spotted, uh, I've got Z and 2Z make 3Z. So if I subtract uh, row 2 and row 3 from row 1, then uh, I'm going to get a 0 in the top row. So that's good. So I'm going to do, effectively, adding those two rows together and then subtract it from row 1. So I've got 7X take away from 3x, so 3x take away 7x is minus 4x. Then I've got 2y and minus 3y uh, make minus 1y, so 3y plus 1y will make 4y. Then by design, I'm going to get 0 here, because z plus 2z is 3z, subtract it from row 1. And then I've got the 2x, 2y, z, 5x minus 3y, 2z. OK? Now, at this stage, uh, you might go, well, I've got a factor of 4 in the numerator, so I can factor that out. That's perfectly fine. So factoring out the 4, minus x, y, 0. 2x, 2y, z, 5x minus 3y, 2z. Now, the reason why you might do that is just to kind of keep the numbers easier for yourself. OK, so uh, next job um, is I would probably use the minus x in order to eliminate the x's here, the 2x and the 5x. So I'm going to do uh, row 2 plus 2 lots of row 1, and I'm going to do row 3 plus 5 lots of row 1. OK, so I've still got the 4 on the outside. I've got the minus x, y, 0. So I'm going to have 2x uh, plus minus 2x, so 0. Then 2y plus 2y, so 4y. And z plus 2 lots of 0. OK. Then I've got the 5x plus 5 lots of minus x, so 0. Minus 3y plus 5 lots of y is 2y. And 2z plus 5 lots of 0 is just 2z. OK. You might then go, right, OK, well, uh, at this stage, um, I've got another factor of 2 that I can pull out. So let's do that. So I'm going to now have 8 minus x, y, 0, 0, 4, y, z, 0, y, z. OK. Now, I could go straight in with expanding this out now. But um, I think what I'll do is I'll... Um, what would probably be easiest? Um, well, I think we might, might, we might as well practice some of the other rules that we can utilise here. So, I think what I want to do is I want to do some kind of subtraction of these two rows, OK, to make my life even easier. Um, what I'll do is I'll just swap those two rows. Now, when you do that, that's going to cause a minus sign. So, bring a minus sign outside when you swap two rows or columns. So I'm going 0yz, then 04yz. OK. So now if I do row 3, take away four lots of row 2. So I'm going to have the 0yz. That's, oh, that's not going to change. And then I've got 0. Uh, 4y take away 4 lots of y, so 0. And z take away 4 lots of z is minus 3z. OK. I could then factor out the minus 3 if I wanted to. OK, so then I'm going to have 24 minus x, y, 0, 0, y, z, 0, 0, z. OK. Um, and then... I've got minus x times y times z times 24. So minus 24xyz. 
Okay? Now, um, obviously, right, if you'd wanted to do that at this stage, okay, that would be perfectly fine. There was nothing going to stop you from uh, continuing from that stage, okay? Um, you might think that I've put in more stages than I need, and that's probably true, but it's really just to kind of develop the skills and to show you what can be done to simplify that determinant down as far as possible.